The Chicago Air and Water Show, it's back in full effect this weekend, while the first edition in 1959 showcased water skiers, games, and a diving competition. This year, millions are going to be watching those feats of acrobatics in the air during one of the country's largest free admission events of its kind. Now, back in 2020, the show was canceled. Uh, there was a scaled-down version last year, but now an estimated 2 million spectators can catch performances by the Navy's Blue Angels, the Army's Golden Knights, and more. Joining us right now, Jennifer Johnson, Washington, first deputy commissioner for the city of Chicago. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You know, I live uh, right there off the lake, uh, not too far from uh, the pier, and I could see those jets moving around in the air uh, all day, all afternoon yesterday. What does this show mean for the city of Chicago? The show means so much. We're excited to bring back the full Chicago Air and Water Show. The last full show, as you know, was pre-pandemic in 2019. So we're back here now, 2022. Um, back at North Avenue Beach, our show center. The viewing area is all the way from Oak Street to Fullerton along the city's lakefront. Um, and bringing back an iconic show means so much to us. Why is it an important event, not just for the community, but for the entire nation? I think it's bringing everyone together. Um, and this year's show is dedicated to Rudy Malnati, our longtime air boss, who we lost last December. Uh, Rudy was the director of the show for over 30 years. So this year's show is de dedicated to him. Uh, we have a parachute jump by the Golden Knights that are going to do tribute to him, as well as uh, two flight missing man formations. So we're excited to make Rudy proud. He's sorely missed. I, I can totally relate to you and, and so sorry for your loss. Uh, 1959 was the first inaugural show and obviously there's been an evolution. No more uh, people doing diving competitions, right? No, there, there's no diving. There is a water rescue at the beginning of the show that will take place. Is there anything specific to this year, just considering the past couple of years were so scaled back or canceled? No, this year, again, is, is, is our full show, uh, beginning at 10 a.m., running until 2 p.m. Um, as you said, we're expecting huge crowds, so we're, we'd like people to take public transportation. Parking is a premium along the lakefront. Um, so start early, take public transportation, come get your spot on the beach and enjoy. Where is the best place to sit? If you want to watch the air show in all of its glory, where would you pick for you and your family? I would pick North Avenue Beach because it is the show center. But again, you can see it all the way along the lakefront from Oak Street to Fullerton. Um, so any, anywhere along that line, um, you'll, you'll be enjoying it. And how, what are the hours? Because I think a lot of people, you know, they hear, you can hear the air show. <laughs> but uh, we, and we definitely see it. <laughs> Yeah, you hear the jets coming. We start at 10 a.m. and the show goes till 2. Okay, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Any tips for people in terms of making sure that they avoid some of the snags that parking uh, can present or uh, just, just in general for the crowds? Yeah, public transportation and plan for a day for being outside. You know, stay hydrated, bring your water, sunscreen, um, something to sit on, um, a blanket. And that's, that's, those and, are my tips. And sunscreen is a big deal because, again, uh, we want to make sure that we stay safe out there in the sun. Jennifer Johnson, Washington, thank you so much for being with us. And, and congratulations on a new show launching this year in all its glory. Thank you so very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.